Well, as we begin, healthcare workers are speaking up after a chaotic scene last weekend. Police say a man broke into a Burlington apartment, tried to assault a police officer, and punched a health official at UVM Medical Center. ABC 22's Josh Morrill has for us about what health workers are saying following that incident. The latest assault on a frontline medical worker here at the UVM Medical Center has staff on edge as they say they've seen an uptick in violence in recent years. A St. Johnsbury man was arrested three times in about 24 hours earlier this week. He's accused of attacking a staff member at the University of Vermont Medical Center and other employees say the violence against frontline workers has become an epidemic. Verbal abuse from patients. There have been staff that have been punched or kicked or spit on. We've had staff uh, stabbed or um, we've had staff with broken bones like facial bones, arms and hands. Matt Luft is a charge nurse in the emergency department at the medical center. And he first detailed his personal experience after getting assaulted two years ago to the New York Times. And on Friday, he said it shook him to his core. After that specific assault, it, uh, it changed the way that I cared for patients. And and that really broke my heart because I felt like I was at a kind of heightened state. Um, there were times when I was scared to take care of people. While he adds there has always been an increased risk when working in emergency medicine, Luft says in the past decade and a half that he has worked at the medical center's emergency department, the risk has changed. I think that risk has increased. It's really universal. Dr. Julie Veith, the medical director of the emergency department, says healthcare workers are five times more likely to suffer a violent workplace injury, but that it's hard to attribute the rise to any one source. We don't have a good grasp on every single minutia that is contributing to this. We do know that um, our emergency department is a microcosm of what's happening outside the emergency department in society. Veith and other health officials say mental health and policing tactics are all part of the increased risk. And she says a bill that was passed in the legislature in June has helped rectify that. It really allows us to be able to file police reports without police having to witness the event themselves. Um, and so it categorizes these assaults on healthcare workers similar to the way domestic violence victims are also able to file these types of reports. And Veith says the hospital has added more security measures and has started to train staff in de-escalation situations to make them more prepared for dangerous situations. Reporting in Burlington, Josh Morrill, ABC 22 News.